G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Matthew Story vlog, this full photography series from Slovenia. We are hanging by a thread, there's not many fall colours left. Unfortunately, a lot of them have passed away here, ready for the deep, deep winter in Slovenia. So, we're going to get into this vlog talking about Nissi, the V6 filter kit. For some long exposure photography, I'm going to head back down that way, which come a little bit too far, a little bit too premature. We're going to photograph two waterfalls today. One that I've taken you guys on this channel before, learning all about polarized, which we're going to touch on today once again. And then just around the corner behind you guys, another waterfall that actually I've never photographed. And with all this water here in Vinskar Gorge, it could be quite an interesting vlog. So make sure to drop below, subscribe, and let's get right into this epic vlog. Let's go! Vintagar Gorge, so juicy, beautiful. Only a 10 minute drive from Lake Bled, but when this place is open in the summer, she is jam packed with tourists, so it's very difficult to come here and photograph. But I wanted to just, you know, back end digest that secret source that I just showed you guys for that long exposure. And I want to break it down into how I'd done it. So when we first got to the location, I was shooting at 160 F8. It was giving me that one over 1.5, roughly around there. Then I want to take the 10 stop on, but I said to you guys, I don't want to take the 10 stop on with those settings. I want it around that sort of eight second, 10 seconds, which I like that silky water effect. So what I done, with those settings, took the 10 stop on, I wanted to go as low as F4. At 23 mil, this gives me a great depth of field to keep everything tack sharp in focus. So lowest I wanted to go is F4. Then I needed to muck around with the ISO settings 
to get me that eight or 10 seconds. So I actually went up to 1,600 ISO, took an image. It was still a little bit overexposed for me. So I went to 2,000 ISO and captured that image. So therefore I had that image as the silky water effect. And then I get straight away, take the 10 stop off, go up to 160 ISO, FA and capture that image. So I've got a base image that's tack sharp at FA. And I get that long exposure image and blend it together in post-production to make the image that you guys have just seen. But we're able to head around the corner to photograph another waterfall that I've actually never photographed properly. I've never taken you guys there either. So it could be quite interesting with all this water. But Vintagar Gorge, what an absolutely beautiful place. Conditions are near on impossible to take photos. I've got the Nissi cap on. I really like this Nissi cap. Quickly taking it off, setting a two second timer. And while I'm cleaning, I'm putting that two second timer on, taking it off. It's, it's not going to turn out this image. It is not going to turn out. I do not like it at all. And the conditions are so hard to photograph here. I've never photographed this with so much water in it. And I now know why I haven't, because bloody hell, it's hard. But the composition is very, very beautiful. I framed at the bottom of the waterfall, just underneath here, to try and get the whole movement through. And just with the Nissi polarizer, it's enough to get that silky water. And there's some color in the background. Just engaging that polarizer, but instantly, so much water, so much rain. This is where I'd love to have the 10 to 24 mil weather resistant lens. I don't know. Currently the settings are set at F11 to give you 1.5 second shutter speed, ISO 100. But guys, I think this is gonna be a complete failure. I have to do some post-production work. There's a log going over the top of the waterfall. It's not making the water flow. I have to move from here. Here's the image, I hope it works out. I can't see anything. Okay, so there's some rare, uncensored footage from behind. It's so hard to photograph. This is still my number one hardest thing about vlogging is next to waterfalls. Probably even the audio right now is really hard to understand, but I quite like it. I, I get frustrated when I edit, but I feel like once they go live, it's more raw, it's more behind the scenes, you know? But like even right now, I can't see anything. My glasses are so much water over them all together. But that's me out testing the Nissi V6 filter. I must say, I really like the polarizer. It gives a more of a blue tint to it, um, a blue temperature, sorry, to it, compared to that sort of warmer magenta tint that the Freewell gives me. But obviously it is a completely different price range and it is sort of the next level up. The only thing I have to say about the Freewell in this situation is, because of that magnetic system, it's so much easier to just engage it and take it off. Especially when you have to clean the element where here, you know, you have to follow around, screw things in. But obviously, better quality system, less for netting. I didn't even have to worry about using uh, the 10 stop there. If I had a three stop, I might have threw it on because I like to try and get around that two seconds to 
five to eight seconds for that waterfall. I like the sort of 30 second waterfall, unless I'm a lot further back. But this is a difficult place to photograph. I know why I don't come here much, because it's difficult to photograph. Conditions are very, very hard, and it gives it that even more difficulty when you're trying to vlog. You've got that extra pressure on you all the time. But guys, I've got one more vlog to come from this fall season. Tomorrow is the 31st of October. I'll be going to my home ground, Lake Bled, to capture a photo. And then we're done. We're done for this epic road trip. So please make sure to drop below and subscribe for that last episode in this series. And then in the comments, let me know what you want to see from the next series. I've got plenty planned. I can camp in the camper van. I can sleep in the camper van and plenty more place to take around. We just have to hope and pray for a deep, deep winter. But guys, I'll see you bright and early, 5.30 a.m. at Lake Bled to finish off this beautiful road trip around Slovenia. Ciao.